Before we start, remember, Scaffold Designer can be used either with or without walls. In this case, the walls are purely for visual reference only. So we'll start by dragging the wall onto the screen. Pick the end and drag it to make it longer. Or go into the Shape Data flyout and within here you can change the length and the height of the wall and various other parameters. You can also access this by double picking on the wall. So within the dialog again, you can type in the length and the height. Remember to put in the unit that you wish to work in. To copy a wall, you can simply use the copy and paste within Windows. Or if you hold the control button down on your keyboard, you can select the wall and drag it into position and this will make a copy. To rotate the wall, pick the end and rotate it around. If you have a specific angle that you require, you can open up the size and position flyout. Within here, you can type in the angle that you wish. You can also change the length of the wall in the same dialog. Once the wall is set up, we can simply drag it into position and when the walls meet, they will automatically glue together. A word of advice when using walls is to always make sure the arrows point in the same direction. In this case, they're all going in a clockwise direction. The reason for this is if you use the wall scaffold command, the scaffold will appear on either side of the wall if you're alternating the arrows. With everything we've just learned, we can now carry on drawing the walls. So we can copy a wall, rotate it, change its length, and then pull it back into position. And likewise, again, we'll copy the wall using the control and picking the wall, rotating it by grabbing the end, and then in the size and position, we'll change the length, grab the wall, pull it back together, and let it glue into position. Finally, this last wall, we want to make into a slope wall. So select the wall and then go into shape data. Switch the slope wall to true. And then in here, we're going to just vary the bottom of the wall. So we're going to change the wall end bottom elevation. If we look in the conceptual model, you can see the slope and the same in a 3D model.